Could you survive Hell Week? Would you be able to train for five days straight? Hell Week is an infamous and highly demanding phase of military training, most notably part of the U.S. Navy SEAL's basic underwater demolition training program. It's considered one of the toughest military training experiences in the world, designed to push recruits to the brink of their physical and mental capabilities. Duration and daily structure, Hell Week spans five and a half days, typically starting on a Sunday evening and ending by Friday afternoon. During this period, candidates are subjected to nearly continuous physical and mental capabilities, with only two to four hours of sleep in total throughout the entire week. The week is structured into various evolution phases, which are highly intense training exercises designed to simulate the extreme conditions of combat. Sunday evening Hell Week kicks off with Breakout, a chaotic initiation involving simulated combat conditions with loud noises, explosions, and intense physical activity. It sets the tone for the week ahead, immediately testing the candidate's mental fortitude and resilience. Monday to Wednesday, the core of the Hell Week involves non-stop physical challenges. Recruits face long-distance runs on the beach, grueling swims in cold ocean waters, log PT, where teams carry heavy logs over their heads, and brutal obstacle courses. They also participate in boat drills, carrying and paddling inflatable boats known as IBS over treacherous terrains. And teamwork is heavily emphasized, as many of the tasks require coordinated effort and mutual support. The physical demands are relentless with almost no breaks, pushing recruits to their physical limits. Wednesday to Thursday, known as around the world, this phase typically involves grueling boat paddling exercises. Recruits must navigate through the open ocean, often facing strong currents and cold temperatures. By this time, exhaustion and sleep deprivation start to take a heavy toll, with many recruits struggling to keep up. Cadre instructors continuously monitor recruits, looking for signs of fatigue and weakness. They use various techniques to push recruits harder, testing their abilities to function under extreme stress and exhaustion. Thursday to Friday, the final days are the most mentally challenging. Recruits are pushed to the edge with a combination of physical fatigue, cold, hunger, and sleep deprivation. They must demonstrate exceptional mental toughness as the temptation to quit becomes overwhelming. This phase often includes surf torture, where recruits are ordered to lie down in the cold surf, letting the waves crash over them repeatedly, which induces hypothermia and exhaustion. This exercise is designed to break the will of the candidates and see who has the mental resolve to continue. Purpose and psychological impact. Helvig serves a critical purpose in the SEAL training pipeline. It's designed to stimulate extreme conditions that SEALs might face during real world missions. The physical exercises, coupled with sleep deprivation, create a controlled environment where recruits must operate under conditions of extreme stress, much like those they would encounter in combat. The psychological aspect of the Hell Week is as important as the physical. Instructors deliberately create situations that force candidates to confront their fears, doubts, and physical pain. The goal is to identify those who possess the mental toughness, adaptability, and perseverance required to become a Navy SEAL. The week is a profound test of character where even the strongest and most prepared candidates may find themselves questioning their decision to continue. Dropout rates. Hell Week is notorious for its high attrition rate. Historically, 75% or more of the candidates fail to complete Hell Week. Most dropouts occur during the first few days as the physical and mental strain becomes too much for many to bear. Those who do not quit and are not medically dropped typically possess the essential qualities needed to continue with SEAL training. Aftermath and recovery. For those those who survive, the end of the Hell Week is a significant milestone. However, it's only the beginning. Successful candidates often experience severe physical exhaustion, weight loss, and minor injuries due to the extreme conditions endured. A recovery period follows, during which candidates have the opportunity to heal and recuperate before continuing with the rest of the BUDS program. Completing Hell Week is a badge of honor among SEALs, signifying that the candidate has the resilience to withstand the rigors of SEAL missions. It's a defining moment that marks the transition transition of a recruit into a potential SEAL. What are your thoughts on this? Would you be able to survive the Hell Week? And if you're ready to challenge your body and mind, join my team to get in the best shape of your life. For more information, click here and you can also shoot me an email. Until the next video, peace out.